Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about some top weapon loadouts for X Defiant and why you're probably setting up your weapons incorrectly because as of right now, some of the weapon statistics are not really doing what they say. Uh, recoil recovery in particular is just completely bugged and actually trash. So uh, we're going to go over all of the nitty gritty details. If you are new to the channel, I do stream every single day at twitch.tv slash enders and this YouTube channel at the very same time. I do multi streams, so be sure to hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And without further ado, let's just get right into the first loadout. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you a naked AK and I'm just going to strafe with it, right? I'm just going to strafe left and right. Then I'm going to do like some, you know, ADS jumping and strafing and all that, right? You've seen people do this in game and you're probably wondering like, how are people moving so fast while they while they do this? Well, that's because they're probably using a loadout like this uh, for the AK, which uses um, ADS walking speed. Now, what ADS walking speed does is obviously increases your walking speed while aiming down sights by a drastic amount. Look how much faster I strafe. Okay, so this already gives you a massive movement advantage. But what people don't know is it actually applies in air as well. Right, so look how much farther I'm jumping. So this is why people are running ADS walking speed. It doesn't look great, but it is currently, I'd say, definitely the meta in the game. Um, just for instance, like if someone's peeking here, you can, right? I mean, it's you can move super quickly. You make yourself significantly harder to kill. So for the AK loadout, I would recommend using uh, barrel extender for your muzzle rapid fire barrel leather wrapped for front rail um it's optional to use a reflex if you want to use a reflex sight i would get rid of barrel extender but you are giving up some damage range um however on the ak i think the irons are decent enough and don't have like that bad visual recoil so i think you can get away with it then uh for the rear grip you're going to want to use leather wrapped again for that ads walk speed and lightweight stock again for that ADS walk speed. There are obviously alternate builds, but this one I find to be particularly potent, again, because of, well, just that pure ADS walk speed, as you see here, it is really strong. Uh, moving on to, uh, let's do the ACR now. ACR is pretty much the same idea, uh, except for this one, again, if you don't mind the iron sight, which is ugly on this weapon, I will admit, it's definitely ugly, you can get rid of a uh, barrel extender for reflex sight, um, but it's the same idea with this loadout. You're going to want to set up this weapon to essentially just have a ton of movement and some extra range, right? Because the damage is already pretty good. The fire rate's already pretty good, especially with rapid barrel. And the damage range is, you know, even better. So that's how I set up the AK and the ACR. Um, for... The DMR, it's cool because you can actually get the DMR's best setup, in my opinion, fairly quickly. So you want to have basically, quote unquote, longer range statistics focused. So you're going to want ADS stability. I would use angled grip, uh, get rid of that horizontal recoil, which is a killer on DMRs. You do not want horizontal recoil. Movement speed doesn't really matter that much with this weapon. You can obviously use it very aggressively. I would definitely use a sight with this weapon. Reflex for most people. Um, other people might use, you know, a scope or something, depending on what they're doing. For magazines, you have two options. Either go with quick mag, for obvious reasons, uh, or go with extended mag. I find that both are completely fine. It's just down to your play style. If you find you don't really need the extra ammo and you're getting plenty of kills, maybe your positioning is really good, I would go with quick mag. You can just reload extremely quickly. For rear grip, again, focusing on more long-ranged weapon statistics that would matter. You know, ADS speed, ADS stability. You want to get your weapon up faster. You want more stability, especially with the DMR. And again, minus recoil recovery on a DMR might look scary, but recoil recovery right now is actually a trash stat in X Defiant. And I believe Exclusive Ace put out a video detailing it's actually bugged. So recoil recovery as of this video, as of recording, uh, it is June 6th. Recoil recovery is a trash stat in X Defiant. Uh, this might this might change later down the line and if you want to know if it does definitely subscribe to the channel because i will uh, update you guys on that and for the stock I've debated a few things here i like precision stock because 
again, minus 15% recoil recovery doesn't matter right now. You get better recoil control, which is great for DMRs. And then the ADS speed, it doesn't really matter because ideally you're going to want to be in that mid long range with this DMR. That's where it's strong suit is. Because again, I mean, if we just, you know, equip it here, it's... I mean, it's just two shots, people, right? At a pretty crazy fire rate. Even this guy will two shot, right? So that is the setup for that DMR right there. If you're wondering what the weapon is called, it's called the MK20 SSR. And uh, I guess we'll go on to the M16 now. For the M16, again, you're going to want to focus sort of that mid-range. That's where the M16 shines. Muzzle booster. Uh, first of all, just increase that rate of fire ever so slightly, but you'd be surprised. It matters more on the M16 than it does on other weapons, in my opinion. Um, if you're finding yourself having trouble with the recoil, I suppose you can remove it. But as, with a burst weapon, it's not going to be that terrible, in my opinion. So I would equip muzzle booster. Heavy barrel is very important on this weapon because this 5% damage increase actually makes this weapon a four bullet to kill instead of a five bullet to kill, which is huge. It's actually huge. Uh, that is just great for your damage, great for finishing kills off. It really makes a massive difference in fights. Uh, for front rail, I'm going to use small vert here because you want, again, you want your ADS walking speed just for that extra strafing and air strafing. Uh, ADS speed, and honestly, spread accuracy doesn't matter. It just, it just simply doesn't matter. If you don't believe me, take a look at how accurate this weapon is. I mean... It, it just it doesn't matter <laughs> like you're gonna be just fine using this um and then if we go back into the setup here i would recommend a sight with this weapon some people don't mind the iron sights but i think uh, in general i think people are going to benefit from using a sight then for the rear grip i would use quick drop just for that you know sp uh, sprint out time ads speed ads stability isn't again that big of a deal here because it's a burst fire weapon so you're going to be able to get away with it and as you can see i'll just shoot it again it's I mean, really strong. It is a four bullet to kill, as you see in the bottom right here. It says four BTK. And it, uh, it'll one burst to the head. I believe at any range. Yeah, it'll one burst that guy. I don't think it'll one burst this guy, though. Ugh. Yeah, it, it didn't one burst that guy. But it'll one burst out to probably a, a little farther than that target there. Maybe like, I don't know, here. Uh, M16, one of the top weapons in the game. And then for the MP7, I don't have it fully leveled up yet, but I do have, in my opinion, the best build for it. I'll flash it on the screen right now. For the MP7, you're going to be up close in people's faces. So you're just going to want to adapt that weapon to that particular use case scenario. You also want to adapt this weapon to be able to kill people from farther away because the chrome lined barrel is extremely good. It extends your damage range a significant amount. To the point where you will feel that you're winning more fights at longer distances, even with the MP7 at range. So definitely recommend Chrome Line Barrel. Uh, you can optionally use the Barrel Extender as well as Chrome Line Barrel, but again, this is a submachine gun. I don't think you need to try to make it what it isn't. It's not an AR. Just use an AR if you want a weapon that does the best damage at range. Moving on to the front rail, definitely use the super light grip, especially in this patch where recoil recovery is basically just a trash stat. Gives you better ADS time and sprint speed. Uh, for magazine, you're going to want the quick mag. Again, adapting this weapon to being fast paced in your face qu uh, close quarter gameplay. As far as the rear grip, you're going to want to use the quick draw grip for that ADS time and sprint to fire. The aiming stability is a little wonky, but you can switch that out for maybe, you know, grip tape or something. And then looking at the stocks, I had a hard time, but I, uh, I eventually just went with the collapse stock because hip fire in this game is already trash. So I figured why not just equip a stock that gives you more sprint speed and makes your hip fire worse than it already is. So the MP7 build is essentially just a flat out better version of the default MP7. So that is going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comment section if this video helped you out and if you like these loadouts. If you do, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more FPS game-related content. I post a lot of videos on pretty much all FPS games that come out, including Battlefield, Call of Duty, that sort of thing. So sub to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I stream every single day on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. And I get these clips that you're watching in the background during those streams. So if you want to see those happen live, definitely come by the stream and hang out. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.